Hi everybody and welcome back and continuing with the um, celebration of us getting to 200 um, subscribers. I think 201, I'll probably have a look um, soon, it might be a, a little bit more, I don't know, it's slowly creeping. Um, but yes, yeah, so the video, I've just I've just done a video outside and uh, I was, I don't know, I just probably because I'm tired, really nervous about it. It felt like I was exposed, but anyway, I've come indoors now, out of the way, but I've got the doors open at the Spencer Arms because it's a beautiful day. It's an absolute love. The sun's not really shining, but it's really warm and it's it's just a really nice day. So <clears throat> I've had uh, one of these beers before, not one of these beers before, but a beer from the Hackney Church Brewery. So we've just done a beer from um, the uh, Church Farm Brewery and now these are the Hackney Church Brewery. So, you know, We've got a um, church theme sort of going on here. Um, but anyway, this is Superfly West Coast IPA. Now, I've been drinking a lot of German beers recently, wheat beers. Um, over in London, I was having stouts and wheat beers and, um, you know, more darker beers. I had the dark Budvar, which was, woo, that was nice. Um, so now I'm going all the way back to what one of the, I love a West Coast IPA. Um, these were a really, their Halo Lager, that's the one, the Halo Lager um, was, well, I was absolutely mint. I've done a review on that. Uh, this is a European Beer Challenge winner, 2023 gold. I would presume that means they're the winner. Now this Superfly, I haven't done any, I don't like to do any sort of like research into the beer too much, but Superfly, I think, why, why Superfly? So I had a quick look and, uh, and it's, Named after Reggie, apparently the co-founder of um, Hackney Church Brewery, uh, who passed, sadly passed away in 2018. And in his youth, he was known as Superfly. Uh, so I read that. So yes, yeah, so Superfly, very interesting name. So I would imagine if he's got a name Superfly, this beer is going to have something about it. It's it's a Superfly. It's like, you know, it lends itself to a, a, a big beer. Um, Hackney Church Brewery glass, beer in the glass, here we go, oh. that looks very nice doesn't it, Ooh. crikey, do you know what now that beer, I can smell orange, I mean the beer looks very orangey doesn't it, but I can smell orange, um, it's normally more sort of like other type of fruits, but yeah, I'm really getting a very, yeah. Now that, like I say, whether it's because I'm looking at an orange looking beer with an orange looking can, <laughs> uh, yeah, or sort of a yeah, orangey can, really nice, really nice label. I'm really gonna be looking forward to getting their beers. I've got a few of them to go through, sticking them on the cabin wall. So, Let's uh, have a look at this. That's uh, quite hazy as well. So it's quite hazy. You expect it to be. It's going to be full of hops, isn't it? Um, nice snowy white head. A beautiful looking beer in their own glass there. Absolutely wonderful. Um, so yeah, so let's see what this smells like. Now, I have got a little bit of a coldish... Um, I've had it in the week. It's it's better now, but I hope it doesn't. It, it doesn't seem to have bothered my taste buds or anything too much. But whoa, that yeah, that is a there. There is an orange, quite a nice deep fruit flavors coming through, like you'd expect from the West Coast. Yeah, but the sort of orange has sort of like disappeared a little bit as the other tropical sort of fruits come through. Well, anyway, I know, as you know from watching me a few times, you know I need to have a gulp of beer to get my uh, nose activated here. So here we go, everybody chilling out there on the uh, grass, reading, drinking, whatever they're doing, chilling out. Cheers, everybody. Let's get into this Superfly West Coast IPA at 6% ABV.
<laughs> oh the god there were so many flavors there oh my god that was like um do you know the, what a vision i'm getting now that was like and we've talked about zip wire this weekend uh our friends who we've been away this weekend they went on a zip wire zip a zip wire in vegas that was literally i just had a vision of a zip wire just a load of zip wire of flavors just going through me there that was in that was an incredible hit Oh my goodness me, that was absolutely breathtaking. It was almost like one of those where you, you actually put the beer in your mouth and you're a little bit shocked by it because, I don't know, you probably just, just I, I, don't, I don't know, it's just grabbed you so hard, you just did, oh my God, I didn't expect that. You sort of know what to expect from a West Coast IPA, you know it's going to be a little bit sort of cheats in a little bit and it's going to be a lot very hoppy and you know very a lot of bitterness and the bitterness is just hanging around really subtly really nice it's not it, it was an initial crash but now it's just staying there lovely and, and that's what i like i like to just experience that but uh that was a hit oh my god that was unbelievable i'm going in to get oh oh it's really night night oh Oh, it's a really orangey smell. Really super freshly squeezed orange that I'm getting there. But then the other, it's almost like the initial, but then as I, as I get the more of the aromas, then it gets more like the more danky sort of fruits and uh, coming through. But oh my God, that's, I'm, I'm almost frightened to sip this. It's that good. I don't, I don't, oh, here we go. Oh my days. Oh crikey. That is absolutely wonderful. Oh you beauty. These, I mean I'll tell you something, I thought to myself, so after seeing uh Mark at uh Craft Beer Hub review the Halo uh lager, um I thought I've got to I've got to check these guys out. And this is what the beer reviewing is all about. It's like, whoa, who are these guys? I check them out. And whilst I was there, I thought, well, I'll get six six of their beers. Anyway, I, I had the log, and I thought, wow, you are you, you know you you're a London based brewery, so we're in we're in Britain, aren't we? Brewing um, sort of like German. Oh God, I've got, I don't want to quote it wrong. Look, I can't remember. Like a German lager. Um, and. Um, yeah, it was magical. It was magical. So I just thought, well, these, these just the styles that we're used to is, is going to be unbelievable. Um, I don't know. I don't even want to read the can yet. I don't, I've not, I've, the only thing I looked, I was really intrigued about the Superfly name. Why call a beer Superfly? And then you've got like this, um, I, uh, what is, what, what is the, uh, I'm not very good with things. There's everything going on there. There's just everything flying around that statue. Um, it's such a great label. Um, you know, there's probably people who know what that statue is. I'm not very good with any kind of things like that. But it, it, if you zoomed, you need to zoom in on that label. There's a lot going on there. It's like, be bold. You know, West Coast IPA, a name like Superfly, be bold in a West Coast IPA. It is like that whoosh, and it's like, it's like, yeah, you know, it's like real Superfly, you know. Someone said you're going to meet Superfly. You ain't going to meet someone's going to go, you know, he's going to be like a bit, he's, someone's going to be like, yeah, you know, assertive and he's going to get out there. And, and and this beer is really, this this West Coast IPA is really smashing me in the face with that. Yeah, you know, this is, this is a freaking beer, man. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Mm. Oh. What we got there? What we got? I've got to calm down. I've got to calm down a little bit. The carbonation that I keep talking about this a few times, but you can really tell when you've got a really nice carbonation, a really lovely soft carbonation from the brewing process, you know, from the yeast, from the brewing process. The carbonation is natural. The water 
I don't know what water these are using. I don't, you know, is it from London Town? I don't know. Is there any clean water in London? You know what I mean? He's like out the Thames. I don't know. I can't imagine they've got like, you know, so they're probably doing some of the to water. I'd be interested to like look. I've not really looked, researched into the brewery, but um, but they, it's soft. It's a soft mouthfeel. There is some maltiness there, calming the bitterness down. It's so fresh. Did I, did, I've just had a thought. This is 6% ABV. No, it ain't. <laughs> it's like, that's 6%. That really, really, really doesn't seem like, yeah, you can tell there's some strength in there, but 6%. I don't feel like I've got to really take my time with this. Although I do tend to take my time with West Coast IPAs because I really like the hit. I like now what it's doing to me in my mouth. I like how it's creating that absolute saliva. It's like if you was to drink this and then just like have a quick chat, drink more, and have a, you wouldn't give the beer chance to do its work. So, I like the beer to do its work. I like the beer to be appreciated. And in order to appreciate it, I do not want to be quaffing this, you know. It's got a lovely, delicate, not overly tingly on the tongue. Really delicate tingle on the tongue. You feel it going down. It's almost like it's so soft as it goes down, as it goes down your gullet, you can, the, 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 it's lingering that lovely, like white, foamy, really like foamy. You'd be, you'd be happy, Mr. Matey would be happy with that, the bubble bath guy, wouldn't it? Look, it looks like, it looks like a bubble bath foam. That almost like takes its time following behind. And then your saliva glands start saying, hang on a minute, you know, that's fairly, that's got a nice bitterness about it. That's, it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't leave you dry, but your saliva, my saliva glands are working now. My mouth is making saliva because it's doing, this is doing, oh God, my, I'm, I've got another beer in there. I'm, I'm going to get another one of those out <laughs> and do it. There's going to be three beer reviews tonight. Probably more wearing the same, exactly the same stuff. Um, and I'll probably bin one of them because I'll probably be a bit too drunk to put it out on air. But but um, yeah, I'm sort of like, uh, how can I put it? F let's do three beer reviews to celebrate me getting to 200 um, subscribers. Now, the thing is, I want to say this as well. I say me, my, are, you know, I've said that a lot. It's, it's this pub is. Spenner and Janie's, the Spencers, me and my wife's. But the reason I say I like is because she says to me, it's your thing, it's your thing. Um, I don't, she doesn't like really being in any videos. Although when we done the lockdown live feed and we done the lockdown open mic, we did open mic and then we did a live feed. I did sort of like a two, three hour gig where we sat in the front room. The first of all, I mic'd it all up and I had it all, all full audio and everything. But then we did it raw and dangerous. We just sat in the front room and I just played music and then Joni told me what song to play and I played and we bantered and we laughed and everybody said you two were a double act but it was going out to the tap and barrel crew and all our friends and family that we socialise with all the time and a lot and you know I mean okay it went out to Ireland America there's a few people watching it from around the world um, that was associated with the people we know so um, you know it was all Sort of in, even though it was allowed to be out into the the, the Facebook world, uh, it was still thin. But they said we were like a double act. And when we when we're in here, we chat. Oh my God, we we could be like a double act. But she's quite shy behind the camera, um, and uh, so yeah, so it is us, and we have some beautiful times here. Just me and Janie down 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 the Spencer Arms, and I'm dying to get her in involved. But you know, <laughs> bless her. But anyway, waffling on. You get that lovely, 
Oh, I can smell the, oh my God. Now, geez, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit overexcited about this. I do apologize. It's like I've been really tired. This week's been really tough. I've been really tired. We've gone London, we had a really late night. We've come home a little earlier because Jenny's a bit under the weather. Um, and I feel really tired. But this is sort of like igniting me. It's like, boom. It, it, it's, it's an absolutely exciting beer. It's like super flies. It's, it's just exciting. It's an explosion of flavours. Um, you get them... When it's going, every everything that's in there is sort of like wrapped up in a in an orange ball. So it's like, oh, how can I say it? Cut an orange open, take out take out all the orange and put it one side, and put all the other fruits in there, all the other fruits in there, and put the orange back together. So you've got all the orange zest, you've got all the um, the, the orange pith. You've got the, um, you know, all the remnants of the orange in there, but then all the other fruits are in there. Let's just leave it for a bit. Just let them just, let the fruits sort of do what they do. We get a bit, you know, when they, when you get them danky, tropical, danky fruits, but they're still all surrounded by orange. So this is just got that lovely orange surrounding nose, taste, everything. Um... But then you've got these sweet malts coming in. You've got like the other tropical fruits coming in. Um, oh, it's so well balanced. It's unbelievable. And at 6%, I can't quite get my head around it. It's jam-packed full of just absolute joy. If you like West Coast IPAs. Now, I've asked um, the guy at the uh, Harbour Stores. I've told him. I want the, the the most hoppiest, full on, thick, hoppy, danky West Coast IPA you can you can recommend. And he went this one all day long. It's at eight point five percent, so that's one on its own. I'm having a few beers tonight, so that's one on its own. But he's told me that's the one. That's that's the daddy, you know. So that'll be coming to the channel channel soon, but probably in the week. Because I only want to have that one. <laughs> if I start having it now when I want a few beers, it's just going to go all messy. Um, but at the minute, I would say this is probably one of the best West Coast IPAs I've had. And I've had a few. Um, and, and I'll simply give you the reason why. Because of the soft, but very full-bodied mouthfeel on this. Very, so, I mean, it's delicate. Look at it. It is so soft and delicate the head retention is wonderful that it's wonderful to look at it's it smells absolutely divine um it tastes wonderful and it's just a joy it's like an event it's like an experience <sighs> Oh, I'd love to know what malts are. Okay, I'm going to read the can. They don't normally give you much information, but the malts that are in there, are, they are sweet. Not really that caramelly yet. Um, oh, I just, I, can't, I just can't get out. I can't get over how good that is. Seriously, forget about my knowledge of beer. Forget about, forget about whether I'm l telling you that this beer is good or seriously, if you're if you like your craft beer and you are a, a and you're a drinker of beer and you love beer, if you don't love this, I, I can't imagine a beer reviewer in the world not loving this. This is just what a discovery this brewery is, and this is one of the reasons why I love doing what I'm doing. I love following the beer reviewers. I love us all introducing each other to different breweries who are producing fantastic beer. And these guys are just unbelievable. This, this, this is this is an absolute 10 out of 10. I don't do numbers, but when there's a 10 out of 10 beer, 
I do it. That's a 10 out of 10. Oh, it's the best West Coast IPA I've tried. It's outrageously good. I need to find out more about this brewery. I need to find out where they source their water from. I need to do a brewery tour the side of where we were. But we need to like look into these and go down and go and go and see and go and have a day in London, London and specifically visit these and have a, and have a real good chat with them and find out what what's what if if there's not the information on the website. But anyway, uh, a modern West Coast IPA, easy but assertive bitterness. Yeah, now easy but assertive. Now that is right. The bitterness is not in your face. It's not. I mean, okay. When I first had it, it was a. Jesus, now I think that's because I've been drinking wheat beers, sweet wheat beers and German beers and that I've not had that massive hop. For the last, all the way through Oktoberfest and all the way up to right when Oktoberfest finished, I've been drinking German beers and all them Oktoberfest beers and all the Weiss beers and everything I've been drinking do not give you that hop smash ever. It's all it's all sort of malty and all, and all very like Moorish sort of side, side of the beers or lagers and things. Um, this is the, f uh, and then going from that, and especially from last night, um, drinking vice beers and stouts and things like that, to then smash myself in the face with the West Coast, that was probably why it was, jeez, I didn't have one of them for a while. But now I've got myself nearly all the way down here. It's, it's, it's a bit more like, it's like having a mustard, having a ham sandwich with some mustard on. The first taste blows your nose out. Then by the time you get to the, the end of the sandwich, you, you, you're fine. This is just absolutely, this blew my mind. And there's some lovely malts coming through now. So I need to find out what malts are in there. But I would say, I would say there is a, like a caramel, like a, probably a crystal malt in there or something. The hops, I don't know, I don't even know what hops are in there, but you probably, you, there's probably a, there's going to be there's going to be like a citra hop in there. There's going to be probably Simcoe hop in there. Um, I'm not really like that. I, 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 I've got a, a book of hops, so when I read the can, what the hops are on, I'll go and research and I go, yes, I can. I tell you, I've got Simcoe. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be. I'm sure there's a Simcoe hop in there. Cascade maybe. So a modern West Coast is easy but assertive business. Yeah, I'm getting to that. The business isn't smashing your face off. It's really. It's a, it's there. But it's also, it's very kind. Provides the perfect resting place for layers of pine and tropical fruit. I struggle with pine. I do. I've been for a walk around here and there's pine trees and I've sniffed them. But, you know, for me, it's just not the greatest of smells. But um, yeah, pine and tropical fruit, yeah. To conjure dreams of the California sunset. Wow. Absolutely beer for all sorts i'm blown away by that i've got to admit i'm blown away oh un look at the tiny right unfined and unfiltered yeah hops fade fast drink fresh now that is true now this is the thing with beers when you get a beer like these that's crafted and it's unfiltered and unfined which I think, to be honest with you, I think all beer should be like that. What, why would you want to take out that amazing goodness in a beer? Um, if I see bits and bobs flying around in a beer, oh, brilliant, brilliant. Especially if there's yeast in there, oh my God. Um, and yes, hops fade fast. So yeah, drink fresh. Because especially with the West Coast, you want them hops to be as fresh as you can get. Uh, now this cat is saying... Um, the 29th of the 4th, 24. So when it's saying drink fresh, it's, you ain't got to drink it within a couple of weeks, but just drink it before the, the, the best before day and keep it cold as well. Don't don't store this. I've got an air conditioning unit in here now for when the fridge is a little bit too full, I have to put the beers on the shelf or on the floor down there. I, I've got an air conditioning unit keeping the cabin. I like to keep it at, as best as I can under 20 degrees. Um, but yeah, don't let these beers be out, get them in the fridge, um, appreciate them. Brilliant, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna get the next Hackney Brewery, um, Hackney Church Brewery beer out, wicked. Best West Coast I've ever had, 26 minutes in, I've got to edit it. Um, I just, I can't, I've not got enough superlatives to this, I really ain't.
it's incredible. And the problem with that is, I feel like I could have that, I could drink that all day, but I couldn't because it's 6%. That's fine, that took me 26 minutes to drink that. And I think that's how long you really need to, 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 to spend drinking that. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all the subscribers. On, honestly, I can't, I can't believe it. I only started this YouTube channel for a laugh and it's building. People are getting interest. The, the uh, Instagram page is getting more followers. Um, but I've, I've figured out social media can be horrible. But you know in the pub, the home bar, pub, shed community, it's wonderful. It's brilliant. So if you're thinking about getting yourself a pub shed, do it. But anyway, um, have a brilliant Sunday evening. I don't know when this will come out. And, uh, and I'll catch you on the other side. Thank you so much. M lots of love from Spenno, man. Cheers.